Hello, in this lecture we're going to do a calculation to find the variable cost per sales dollar. The goal of this is to take the total costs over here and break out the variable cost portion and the fixed cost portion. So as we know, it becomes very important to break out costs by behavior. And if we know the exact behavior, if it's variable cost or if it's a fixed cost, that's not a problem. But there's going to be many areas where we're not quite sure. It might be a mixed cost. We might not know exactly the variable or fixed portion and we may need to do some type of estimation in order to break out a variable and fixed portion for various reasons. And so in this case, if we have a data set like this, in this case we have the total cost over here, what we're trying to figure out are basically the variable portion, and once we find the variable portion, we can then f figure out what the fixed portion would be. That's going to be the attempt. We're going to use kind of an estimate being the high-low method, meaning we're going to take the high point, compare it to the low point, and come up with a, in this case, variable cost per sales dollar and use that in order to break out the variable cost and then uh, determine the fixed cost. So let's see how this would work. So we're going to take the formula up here, which is going to be the cost at the high point minus the cost at the low point over the volume at the high point minus the volume at the low point. So in this case, the costs are going to be here. That's what we're trying to break out between the high and low point. And the volume in this case is going to be the sales dollars. So here's the sales dollars, and we're going to use that for the denominator in this case. So let's let's do this. So first we're going to say the cost at the high point. So we could look through this data set and say, hmm, where's the high point here? Not a very big data set, but it's a lot nicer, and it could be useful in other cases when we have more data to use the formula of equals the max. So we're looking for the max number. So I'm going to say max of these numbers here is going to give us the uh, 249. Does that make sense? That 249 looks like the biggest number in the data set. Makes sense. I'm going to say, all right, we're going to take that number. And then I'm going to say minus the min. So I'm going to say equals the min, or the smallest number using our formula, highlighting this data set. Once again, we're going to say the smallest number in the cost is the 61. Yeah, that looks about right. So we're going to say, okay, that looks good. And then on uh, the denominator, we got the volume, and that's going to be sales in this case. So we're going to same thing. I'll say it equals the max of the volume, the max of these numbers. And that, of course, is going to be related to the max of the cost, most likely. And that's going to be the 356. And it really should be. If it's not, then we're, we may have a problem. But then we're going to say minus, and we're going to say this equals the min of these sales here, the min of these numbers, and that's going to be the 75.2 right there. So we have that. Okay, and then we're going to say that equals and tab. Now we're going to do the next step of our algebraic equation. We're going to subtract the uh, the numerator and the denominator. So that's going to be our second step. So then we're going to take the 249, 136 minus the 61,000. Enter. That's going to be over the equals the 356 minus the 75.2 and that's going to be the uh, 188 136 divided by or over the 280 800 and that's going to equal and we're going to do the final calculation over here which is going to equal the 188 uh, 136 divided by the uh, 280 800 so we just plug those numbers in and that's what we get we get 67 cents so the variable cost per sales dollar, we're saying, is $0.67 cents per sales dollar. So we're gonna, if we took the variable cost, then if we were going to estimate the variable cost, we'd say, okay, well, that's the, in this case, the variable portion on that would be the uh, sales dollars, the 356000 times $0.67 cents being the variable portion. And then the difference is going to be the fixed portion of, of this number here, the difference between the variable portion and the total. So we'll do that calculation to kind of prove that down here, that same calculation to prove that that's the case at the high point and the low point, meaning this is a good number to use as basically an average, an estimate. Okay, also note that we formatted this here to have decimals. So if you went to the home tab and uh, you went to the numbers and you added the decimals like this, otherwise it would just be a one, <laughs> so we added decimals. Also note that if it wasn't even and, and just uh, 67 cents, then you'd have a rounded number and that's gonna cause you problems when you do the final calculation, you could be off by by some a, a small amount because of, of course, rounding. So always keep that in mind when you're trying to prove these calculations. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the, this number at the high point and the low point. We're going to calculate the variable cost and the fixed cost. 
of the high point and the low point and see that what will happen is the fixed cost portion will be the same which is kind of at those two extreme points which is what we would expect the fixed cost to be the same and therefore it's a good kind of estimate to use so in order to do that we're going to calculate the the high low method the fixed cost at the high point here we're going to start off with the total cost at the high so i'm going to put this in the outer column we already know what that is of course that's going to be uh this number but we're going to use that max function again or so i i'm going to use it because it's such a nice thing to use so i'm going to say the high point is going to be this of these numbers what's the high max there it's going to be the 249 136 then we're going to calculate the uh ver the variable cost at the high point so the variable cost is going to be this this variable cost in sales times the variable cost per sales dollar. So I'm going to pull this into the inside. I'm going to put a colon and then I'm under this. I'm going to say the volume at the high point, the volume being in terms of sales dollars, this column. I'm going to go to the home tab. I'm going to go to the alignment and indent that. And then I'm going to say this equals the max once again of the sales dollars here. And that's going to give us the 356. And we, of course, are going to multiply that times the variable cost per sales dollar that we calculated up here. So I'm going to hit tab. We're going to say that equals. And I'm just going to point to this number here and enter. Why did it come out to one? Because we have to go to the home tab. We've got to go to the numbers. And we've got to add the decimals to have the 67 cents. Also going to go to the home tab font and underline that. And I'm going to click on here and go to the home tab and the alignment and indent that that's going to give us the total cost at the high point so that gives us the total variable cost at the high point because the total cost is up here so it's total variable so i'm going to put that in the outer column now so i'm going to say that equals the uh 356 000 times the 67 cents variable cost per sales dollar and we're going to say that that is the variable portion i'm going to go ahead go to the home tab and underline that this is the total at this point in terms of cost this is what we are estimating to be the variable portion based on the volume or sales times the variable cost per sale dollar. Therefore, if we take the total minus the variable portion, we will get the fixed cost. The fixed portion will be equal to the 249,136 minus, I'm going to hit the up arrow so we could see it, that number. So obviously this calculation is this number minus this number or the total cost minus the variable portion means we have the fixed portion that'll be the fixed cost so we did that for the high point for this point now we're going to do the same thing for this point and we'll see that the variable cost will change dramatically of course because that's the thing that should differ and what will not change will be the fixed portion because it should be fixed that's what we're hoping to happen at these two extreme high and low points so we're gonna have the total cost at the low point same calculation i'm going to put that on the far end i'm going to, I'm going to say equals the the min so the min of and of course we know what it's going to be it's going to be that 61 but it's it's just so nice to use the formula so i'm going to say it's, there it is there's the 61 then we're going to have the variable cost at the low point i'm going to put our colon here we're going to indent and then the calculation is going to be the volume at the low point in terms of dollars times of course our variable cost per sales dollar so volume at the low point i'm going to hit tab we already know what it's going to be it's going to be that 75 too but i'm going to use equal the min function just to emphasize the fact that it's going to be the smallest of this data group and just because it's it's fun to use the min formula all right and then we're going to say the variable cost per sales dollar this is going to be equal to the same portion of the calculation up here variable cost per sales and there we have that i'm going to highlight these two we're going to go to the home tab we're going to go to the alignment and indent and we're going to get this number of course from equal to this same number here or it's the same calculation up here Okay, so why is it one? Because we need to add decimals. We also need to underline it. It needs to look just like that. So why don't we just go to that one and go to the, uh, I can go to the home tab and say hit the paintbrush and then go back here and paintbrush it and it'll format adding the decimals and the underline, which is nice. That'll give us the total variable cost at the high point or the low point. So I'm going to tab over here. Total variable cost at the low point is going to equal the volume in terms of sales dollars in this case times the variable cost per sales dollar and enter. I'm going to go back on there. We're going to go to the home tab. We're going to hit the underline. And if this is the total and this is the variable, the difference should be the fixed cost. And we're hoping the fixed cost comes out to what? We're hoping this fixed cost comes out to... 10,616 the same as it did for the high point that's going to be the idea notice the variable costs are very different 
we would expect that to be the case if we had the perfect breakout of variable and fixed portion, and we would expect the fixed portion to be the same. So fixed cost. The fixed cost is going to equal the total minus the variable portion and enter, and we get that same 10, 6, 16, and that's going to be the idea. So the idea being that if we use the high-low method at the two extremes, at the high point and the low point, if we use the variable cost per sales dollar, then we come up to the same fixed cost, which means it seems like a good estimate for uh, all points since it's uh, basically an average in that way.